velocity of sphere be vcx and vcy so as the sphere is in contact with the wedge b so what is the first condition i'll write it here the sphere is in contact with the wedge b so therefore velocity along common normal must be equal so vcx is equal to 2u now i'll write that statement therefore velocity along common normal must be equal so therefore vcx must be equal to 2u <coughs> so what is that common normal common normal will come like this so velocity along the green color line it should be equal and then similarly uh, the sphere is in contact with the it is in contact with the wedge a also so velocity along common normal between c and a should be the well should be equal so what is the common normal common normal will come like this uh, are you seeing that uh, common normals i'll i'll extend that line huh? these are common normals huh? common normal between sphere and the wedge b this is common normal between the sphere and the wedge a uh, what should be the again the along common normal must be equal the, the same reason is what i'm going to put it here the sphere c is in the sphere c is in contact with the wedge a therefore velocity along common normal must be equal ah uh, so tell me what i should write equation for this how to write equation for this velocity of the wedge along common normal i should resolve no so if you resolve the velocity here this will be the common normal i'll draw it now let's draw that common normal that it take line 1 so what is the velocity this will be vcx this is vcy and and there's a velocity u so let's resolve along common normal and what is that that 30 degrees what we have to take into picture no so how to bring that 30 degrees how to bring that 30 degree angle <coughs> so th this this should be the take help of this so where is the 30 degree 30 degree this will be this will be 30 degree no if this is 30 this should be 30 so this should be 30 now what can be this this should be 30 uh, this should be 60 perpendicular 30 this will be 30 uh, and here the velocity so what is the angle this should be 30 now you equate the velocity so this is the sphere c this is the wedge let, let let me let me check it huh? 
let me check it. So what I should equate now, uh, u sine 30, uh, here only I'll write it, u sine 30, u sine 30 degree should be equal to what? Vcy cos 30 minus Vcx sine 30. Uh, this will become u by 2 uh, vcy we don't know cos 30 root 3 by 2 vcx we, we know it is equal to how much 2u 1 by 2 <coughs> how much finally vcy should be equal to uh, minus u minus u 3u by 2 Uh, anybody value VCY from here? So two get cancels. Root three, root three U. Root three U. Root three U. So now what is the velocity of this sphere C? Root of VCX square plus VCY square. Uh, VCX square two U whole square plus root three U whole square. Four four seven so root seven u okay fine so th this should be our answer huh? and th th these ideas are very important. Huh? Velocities along common. If they are in contact, velocities along common normal must be equal. Or if they're having acceleration, then acceleration along common normal must be equal. Getting the method. This one. So, so what actually you have to learn from all these problems? Motion of connected bodies. When two or three bodies which are in contact, so definitely that that particular contact word itself is going to help you to solve the problem.